Now at 530, the Formula One debate races on in Miami Gardens thanks to a failed attempt to override the mayor's veto. Commissioners made their case for residents who didn't want Formula One in their city. But their plea did not convince the commissioners to override the mayor's veto. CBS 4's Real Creighton was at County Hall for the vote. The future of Formula One racing and its estimated $400 million impact on Miami-Dade County before the county commission, whether to override a mayoral veto that essentially kept racing on track to head to Miami Gardens. Before a vote, an impassioned plea by Commissioner Barbara Jordan, her district, Miami Gardens. I'm pleading to you, don't let this go down in my community. Don't do that. I would not do it to you. Madam Chair, I move that we vote to override the mayor's veto. A debate raging over the racetrack since organizers turned their sights away from downtown Miami in April and towards Miami Gardens. Residents, many who filled the commission chambers, upset. They've argued the site is not suitable, a racetrack around Hard Rock Stadium, a traffic, noise, and pollution nightmare. This race is until May of 2021. Let me repeat that again. This race isn't until May of 2021. Sustaining my veto buys three to six months so that we can at least uh, get the parties together and the parties that are involved and we can continue to work toward a solution. Motion fails. Seven to five. The mayor's veto upheld reaction swift. Miami Gardens Mayor Oliver Gilbert. And the mayor said the race was a good thing and it was going to happen. Nowhere in that was, hey, let's talk about how we mitigate the concerns of sound and air pollution and traffic on the community that bears the burden of the race. So if people really are interested in compromise, they shouldn't speak in conclusions. They should ask questions. The fight is not over yet. The mayor of Miami Gardens says the discussion will continue. Meantime, Miami-Dade County Mayor Carlos Jimenez says the next several months can be used to try to alleviate some of the residents in Miami Gardens concerns. In downtown Miami, Riel Creighton, CBS 4 News.